Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you for the near future? All right, for Pisces, spirit for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces in regards to love? All right, let's get into this. For Pisces. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented. I read all of your comments. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. Really appreciate it. And um, also a huge thank you to those of you that take the time out of your day to leave me such sweet comments. It does not go unnoticed. So thank you, for Pisces. Nine of Pentacles reverse, the moon reverse. There you are, Pisces. Queen of Swords reversed. Um, we do reversals in this channel. If you don't like reversals, this is I am not the reader for you. Check out other readers on YouTube that they don't do reversals, but I do not want to, you know, I keep getting comments about people saying it's too many reversals. Well, I can't control what comes out of the deck. That's the point. If there's reversals, it's meant to be that message. Eight of Swords reversed. Five of Swords upright, interesting. The one card that comes upright. And Death, Scorpio energy. Bottom of the deck here, Eight of Cups. Someone walking away from a situation that no longer fulfills them emotionally. This could be you, Pisces, that is um, walking away from something, or it could be someone that walked away from you. Um, or this is the person you are dealing with at this time. Maybe they're walking away from a situation in their life. This Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that is not independent, not financially secure, attached to something or someone dependent on someone or something. This is usually the card for like not single. So you could be dealing with someone that is not single or you are not single at this time. The moon reverse, Pisces energy here. This is a something that was not as it seemed is being revealed. So um, when the moon is upright, it means that there's an illusion of some sort, some sort of cloudiness or confusion because something is not as it appears. Um, and so when it's reversed, that has been revealed or there's something that's come to the surface, something that's come to light, a secret, for example, being revealed or a bubble bursting someone's illusion of someone else was burst queen of swords reverse this is not a good person to be dealing with <laughs> aquarius libra gemini energy the queen of swords reverse tends to be somebody who is very difficult to communicate with um, they're extremely guarded extremely um, protective over themselves and their heart vindictive petty um argumentative they use logic and truth uh they twist it to fit their narrative or to to complete their goals um they tend to have a bad temper or just are not the best communicator so they can be brutally honest like hurtful not somebody that you want to be dealing with i'm going to clarify all of these but i'm telling you what i'm seeing so far now eight of swords reverse this is someone that's breaking free from a mentally um like a mental prison that they've been in so someone has been possibly overthinking something um feeling stuck trapped and so now they're breaking free from that now this five of swords i keep getting the five of swords in these readings i don't understand what is going on with the collective but everybody keeps getting this card um and this card is all about someone who is wanting to win at all costs so they will cheat if they if they if they can get away with it they take advantage so see how they showed up with way more swords than the other person is an unfair fight so you know they don't care about that about being fair they care about winning so something here there was some sort of deception someone tried to take advantage of a situation someone wasn't playing fair um someone wanted to win at all costs but this card is all about failure somebody lost something here based off of their own actions and then we have death 
So this is all about change, transformation, endings that bring about new beginnings. So let's let's clarify. I feel like someone's putting an end to this to this situation themselves and walking away. We'll see if I'm right about that. For Pisces spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces regarding this situation? Messages from Pisces, please. Help me clarify these messages. For Pisces. I love this artwork so much. It's one of my favorites. I kind of wish I could get prints. I'm going to look into that because I would love to hang some of these up. For Pisces, please. All right, let's get into this. Nine of Pentacles reverse. What is this all about? Nine of Pentacles reverse. What is this all about for Pisces, please? Page of Cups reverse. Heartbreak. Um, a message that's unable to be expressed. Um, disappointment. Someone's very disappointed at the state that they find themselves in at this time. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Ooh, judgment reverse, because they made a bad judgment call here. They made a mistake. This was a mistake here, and someone's paying for it. This bad judgment, this, this possibly karmic situation has been very hard breaking for someone very disappointing for someone tell me more about the nine of pentacles reverse it's caused someone to lose confidence to lose stability to still be dependent on someone it could also be that someone's in an attachment at this time that was a bad judgment call tell me more for this nine of pentacles reverse please Ooh, the lovers all about a choice between the head and the heart here with the lovers, Gemini energy. Uh, someone's possibly thinking that they need to make um, a different decision. Look at the bottom. Ooh, Hierophant reversed. Taurus energy here with the Hierophant reversed. This is a broken contract, broken commitment. Uh, someone rebelling against social norms. It has to do with a choice in love. Or a choice in partner. I feel like whatever choice they made was a bad judgment call. Tell me about the moon reverse. What was revealed here? Oh, that was that was sloppy. Hold on. Interesting. Tell me about the moon reverse. For Pisces, please. Tell me about this moon reverse. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there with the Queen of Cups. That devil keeps wanting to come out. Tell me about this moon reverse. What's this moon reverse about? The Hermit reversed. Virgo energy. Tell me more before I... Ooh, two of cups at the bottom. Tell me more about this moon reverse. I have an idea, but I want to double check, make sure that I'm right. Tell me about this moon reverse, please. Show me clearly, sir. This moon reverse. Five of swords reverse. Someone got caught lying someone got caught lying someone got caught trying to take advantage of a situation it didn't work out someone could have been literally running away from this reveal it's like they knew it was coming they knew they were going to get found out and so they tried to run away try to escape and it had to do with this queen of cups which i think might be you or this queen of cups is the one that found this out This hermit reverse, 
they tend to avoid a situation. They don't want to face a situation head on. So they literally run away. They become so withdrawn that they, you know, it's like they're not even there. And I think it's because this person was caught. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords reversed. And someone was pissed about it. No wonder this Queen of Swords, this, this Queen of Cups probably was completely livid um, at what she figured out, what she found out. Something to do with the commitment here or an opportunity. Tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse. Let's see. What's this Queen of Swords reversed about? So you're dealing with a coward. Page of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reverse. Thank you. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Knight of Cups reverse. Four of Swords reverse. What's at the bottom? Ace of Cups reverse, my goodness. So this Queen of uh, Swords is completely done emotionally. That's why she's in this state. She is emotionally drained uh, over the situation, emotionally overwhelmed, um, and it's caused her to be this way. This could also be this person that was caught. You know, it's like when you back someone against a corner, they, they react, they lash out. This Queen of Swords is trying um, a few things here. They're trying to communicate either with manipulation or like genuine, I'm going to work on something. Let's start, let's start over energy. But it's, it's almost like it's bad timing, bad luck, an unfortunate situation because I feel like this Queen of Swords is, she, they already know. They might also be keeping something to themselves with the Four of Swords reversed here. It's like the Four of Swords reversed is typically someone who's been really thinking about something. No movement, no action, just thinking. And then now they're ready to act. They're ready to get up. This Queen of Swords, if this Queen of Swords is this Five of Swords energy, if they're the ones that feel like they were caught and they're trying to do this, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out for them. It's not, the timing is not going to, it's not going to go in their favor. You know, and I feel like they've possibly are ready to speak up and do something about something now, but it's like too late. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reverse. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reverse, please. Now, if this is you, Pisces, and you're the one that found this out, um, someone's trying to manipulate the situation, and again, it's not going to work out for them. Yeah. This Queen of Swords is pissed. Completely, like, shut off emotionally. And again, it had to do with a commitment or an offer that was taken back or an opportunity that never took off. This five of pentacles reversed. It's like someone wants to come back and fix what they broke, but they're not going to put in that much effort. And I think this queen of swords knows, somebody knows here that it was a bad judgment call. You know? It's too little, too late. Let's see what this Eight of Swords is about, because I feel like this is going to be a long reading. <laughs> Tell me more about this Eight of Swords, please. Reversed. First Pisces. There's that Five of Pentacles reversed again. Someone, I feel, wants to come back out of the cold. And it's almost like this Eight of Swords energy was upright, and they didn't know what to do, but they know exactly what to do with this now. They're not blocked anymore. They're not trapped anymore. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords reverse. Three of Swords reverse. Keep getting these third party energy readings as well. So um, there could be some sort of interference here. 
or it could be that uh, like a third party interference where there's someone else involved or um, something interfering in this connection like distance, job, family, etc. But it could also be that someone has healed from a painful situation and so they're no longer feeling stuck no longer feeling like they have to struggle. They're overcoming the struggle here. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords reverse. Tell me more for Pisces, please. Yeah. Five of Cups reverse. Someone's overcoming the sadness, the disappointment. Someone could be wanting to get back what they've lost to heal a situation to restabilize something here. Four of Cups at the bottom. Not Four of Cups, Four of Wands, sorry. At the bottom. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Let's see what we can get about this deception and the information. What's this Five of Swords about? What's this Five of Swords? What's this Five of Swords about? The Hierophant reversed again. This deception is going to cause a breakup or uh, the ending of a contract. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Someone could have cheated. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Eight of Pentacles reversed. To someone that doesn't put in any effort, any work into something. Someone that's no longer focused on something, wants to give up on something. Someone's like, I don't want to, I don't want to keep fighting. I don't want to keep working on this when it's not working out. Tell me more about this five of swords. Wow. Tower reverse. Someone wanted to have their cake and eat it too because they were trying to avoid a tower here. Taurus, Scorpio energy here. Bottom of the deck, 10 of uh, wands reversed. It didn't work. Um, if they were trying to avoid a tower, it didn't work. The burden had to be dropped anyway. Something had to be dropped. Something had to give. Behind that, we have the six of cups reversed. So it has to do with someone um, dealing with the past here. The past had some sort of influence on this tower or this breakup. So tell me about death. Tell me about death. I feel like someone's just going to end it and walk away, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, Pisces. Tell me about death. Ten of Cups reverse, definitely. Someone's putting an end to something that was emotionally unfulfilling, emotionally draining, possibly a family with children. Tell me more about death. Situation that was also happy on the outside, but not on the inside. Six of Wands, something that wasn't successful. Somebody that only cared about appearances. It's like that's all over. Tell me more about death. King of Cups. I think this King of Cups is doing it because they are more emotionally stable at this time and they're looking for something real. This is someone who is emotionally mature, able to make decisions. This decision is not made lightly. They thought about this. They know what to do. Empress reversed at the bottom. So this is somebody who is... Um, Unable to manifest, un uh, invest in the wrong thing, um, is uh, smothering, uh, controlling, uh, typically a jilted lover or someone that's very upset. Hangman reverse. So this Empress might not be letting this King of Cups go, but it's going to be dropped. This burden is going to be dropped anyway. Tell me more for death, please. Cancer Pisces Scorpio here with the King of Cups. We have Leo up there as well. You don't have to be dealing with these signs. I'm just sharing them because I see them. But it's more about the energy of the cards, not the signs. Sometimes if you focus too much on the signs, you miss out on the whole message. So be careful with doing that. Because I, I read some of my comments and I'm like, but you missed the whole message. 
Tell me about death, please. One more for death. One more for death. Two of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, something here's. Someone has either finally. Someone's dropping one of these Pentacles. When the Two of Pentacles is reverse, it means one of these had to be dropped because someone cannot juggle this anymore. It's almost like this King of Cups is like, I can't do this anymore. And then we got the Empress reverse at the bottom again. So that is the message. Someone's no longer stressed or anxious about this. No longer waiting around, uh, no longer waiting for the right time, no longer waiting for something to come in. They're just gonna go for their new beginning. Yep. Someone's gonna go towards a new beginning here. I wonder what that's, that new beginning is all about, but I feel like this is kind of like needs to be dealt with first. This, I feel, was a big wake-up call for someone. Um, someone was caught lying, caught cheating, and whoever caught them was very upset, or they were upset that they got caught. <laughs> They're just mad because they got caught, is what I just heard. <laughs> So if that's the if that's the case, they're just mad they got caught too bad. You know they try to avoid a tower moment by trying to get away with it and be deceptive, and you know it didn't work in their favor. They they didn't get away with it, and someone's healing from this. Someone's healing from this, and they they've healed enough to literally walk away. When you're at this Eight of Cups energy, um, and look what's behind that Four of Wands reverse. When you're in this Eight of Cups energy, you're like, you've taken the time to line up everything here very nicely. You've packed up all your bags. You've closed all of your accounts. Like, it's very methodical, this leaving. This isn't an abrupt leaving. This is a, le a leaving that is a long time in coming, okay? So that when it's finally time to leave, this is someone that doesn't even look back. They're not looking back at nobody or nothing. And I think if that's not you, Pisces, that's the person that you are dealing with. They're leaving and they're not looking back at either you or a connection they're already in. Um, thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll leave it there, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in another video. Take care.